drink beer, it's good for you. Hello and welcome to my last video of 2022. Within this video we'll be looking back at the year that was 2022 and also forward to what we can expect in 2023. This video covers this from my channel's perspective and also from a product's perspective with key home brewing companies worldwide. So let's get started. During 2022 I released a total of 54 videos. This broke down as 12 new recipe guides, 3 product comparisons, 25 educational videos and 13 product first impressions videos, plus one video where I went into detail about what I do for a living and what my job actually comprises of. This my job video was very popular so perhaps in the future I will create some more further related content. Overall though it was great to be able to share all of this different content with you and the ratio between education, recipes and products is on target for my personal aims for the channel, which are to add value for the brewer by simply sharing and teaching new things progressively, whilst only sharing products which are of particular note, be it that they are unique or especially good value or perhaps generally worth highlighting. Whilst I do work in the home brewing industry, my channel is independent just like the company that I work for, so as such I cherry pick the best of what is out there, but at the same time keep my focus on educational and my tried and tested recipe content. I would not be able to do this if I was sponsored, like frankly too many home brewing channels these days, and it was a pity to see more go this way in 2022. During this year, part of my educational content has been my new How to Homebrew Beer series, which is up to part 6 currently, and this will continue in 2023. If you have any suggestions or requests even of what you would like to see added, then do let me know in the comments section of this video. I will also continue adding more educational videos of different natures during 2023, just as I have done every year since starting this channel over 7 years ago. A fairly recent thing is that I started selling merchandise due to having many requests. This is done on the basis, just like my advertising revenue from the channel, is that this goes straight back into the channel to gradually improve quality. So far this has funded mostly photographic and editing equipment, but it has been a great help, so thank you for watching, clicking ads and buying my merch to help with this. Again due to subscriber demand during 2022 I also released a new range of beer glasses that offer various styles that have been popular that you, as you can see are based on my channel's art and this offers five different designs. I have also been using these glasses myself regularly and I am very pleased with the high quality of them as well as the designs. Thank you to those of you that have purchased these. I know they are not cheap but they are very good quality and the revenue is certainly very helpful for the channel. If you have any suggestions for new channel merchandise for 2023, then I would love to hear from you. Alternatively, if you would like to simply send me a cash tip as a thank you, then YouTube now has this built in as what they class as a super thanks. This is available underneath each video to the right of the like, dislike and share buttons. Let's now move on to highlighted product releases for 2022 and what is expected for 2023, starting with the busiest company in the business these days, Kegland. When it came to home brewing products, we were certainly rewarded for our patience and finally saw the release of Kegland Wrap products that we first heard about in 2021. During 2022, Kegland continued a release schedule of new products that no other company in the market could come even close to. At the heart of this were wrapped products and this started with the wrap pill back in early 2022, which I created a first impressions video for, which detailed what it offers now and also how this will develop. A big part of this is actually its pairing with another product, the Rab Temperature Controller, which at this point is just available in Australia, but in early 2023 this will be available in other world markets too, including the US and Europe. This pairing allows the wrap pill and temperature controller to work together and enables you to automatically adjust temperature according to your gravity. I will release my first impressions video of the wrap temperature controller in early January 2023 and you can expect release in Europe and other world markets outside of Australia during the first few months of 2023. As someone who has been lucky enough to test this for some months now, I firmly believe that once this is released across Europe and the US, it will become the most popular temperature controller on the market, pushing aside the Inkbell products which would have been noticeably less reliable and sought after in recent times. I guess this is because people worldwide know these more feature-rich controllers are on their way. 
During 2022, Keglan released their new Gen 4 brewing systems, which also feature Wrapped, which has had a big success across the world. I will continue to review new products that suit these systems in 2023, which will include new items for outside of Australia. A couple of examples as shown here are the new Wrapped Bluetooth thermometer and heat exchanger dish, which I have already been testing for some time to provide you with information with experience behind it that I will report back on during 2023. Another important product released during this year was the new Firmzilla Triconical, which I also provided a full overview and first impressions video for. This triclamp based version sets Firmzilla even further ahead of its competition, making it so much easier to set up and use without any issues. There will be further members added to the Firmzilla family of fermenters in 2023, more on this coming shortly in this video, which I will be covering on this channel further in 2023 of course. Let's now look at some of the new products that Kegland have given me permission to share with you for release during 2023. These start with the new Mark V regulator. This new improved version offers a tool free design where the control knob itself can be removed to also undo the back of the regulator as well as for adjustment of the connection of the CO2 bottle itself without the need for a spanner. This will also support a new benchtop keg rater that is coming that is designed to work with the new Oxybar kegs. I fairly recently made a video about the 8 litre version but a 4 litre version is coming quickly as well as a 20 litre version later on in 2023. You will also see a new version of the Series X keg rater which will feature a new stainless steel top making it more suitable for commercial use as well as more aesthetically pleasing. There will also be a release of a new member of the Nucatap range, the Nucatap Mini. It can be used with a flow control ball lock disconnect as shown in the photo on the left and also has other applications like being used through a converted fridge door. As this last photo clearly shows, this new Nucatap certainly lives up to its Mini name and I can see this being especially useful for a more compact keg setup for people on the move. You will note that Nucatap's shape is retained, so like the rest of the range this should enjoy the same excellent performance and pour. I guess by now everyone is familiar with the ramp fermentation chamber which saw release in 2022. For 2023 a smaller version of this fermentation chamber is planned for release that has the same features but less space and also a noticeably smaller price point. I personally would have loved one or two of the original double size version but did not have the space available myself so this is of particular interest to me and I hope to be able to buy one for myself to give you a full review in 2023. Another big release, quite literally, is the new 100 litre version of the Bruzilla Gen 4 for 2023. This system is ready to brew a final volume of 90 litres by standard and enjoys all of the many features of its smaller Bruzilla Gen 4 brothers. This system boasts three 2.2 kilowatt ultra low watt density heating elements and thus will require some more powerful electrical connections than its smaller brothers because of this sheer level of power. If you are looking to upscale your brewing volume then this could well be one of the best deals you are going to get in 2023. Yes, there's a stainless steel firms that are coming. At present there is no final photo available, but the stainless steel Firmzilla is scheduled to be finished and on sale in 2023. Kegland promised that it will feature some new and innovative design that will allow them to deliver a high quality pressure capable product at a price that will surprise the market. Certainly this is one of the new products that I am most looking forward to myself. Also due for release next year is a 2-in-1 wrap connected regulator and spunning valve. Once again no final design is in place but this device will regulate pressure both ways and will feature its own digital data screen. Naturally this is another industry first for Kegland. You can be sure that I'll be reporting back on this one. There will also be a wrap can filler. This new wrap product will offer a more sanitary and smart solution to the market for can filling compared to what is available right now and it will do this at a far more reasonable cost too. Even at this far reduced price point this device will have its own digital screen for easy calibration and running plus it will connect to wrap via Wi-Fi so that you can keep track of all your can filling data. I am more of a keg guy personally but I do look forward to testing this and reporting back with all of the details. This concludes the Kegland section, but I want to make it clear that this is not everything that Kegland planned to release in 2023, which is frankly astonishing. 
Grainfather released their latest brewing systems back in 2021 along with a new fermentation system, so nothing was actually expected new from the Grainfather in 2022. However, Grainfather certainly surprised many people when they provided users of the much older G30 with a couple of new upgrades during 2022. I covered both of these within one video during this year. The first of these was the Gcast, which is a Bluetooth to Wi-Fi bridge. The smart device frees the G30 from being just a Bluetooth device by adding in Wi-Fi. In addition to this, there is further good news if you are a Tilt user, as the device allows you to cast the Tilt's Bluetooth data via Wi-Fi so that you can see live results online. Further to this, Grandfather also released these high-quality stainless steel roll plates for the G30, bringing them up to the quality that you see on the G70 and G40. Certainly these will have a much longer life cycle than the plates they replace, as well as offering an easier user experience as they are silicon edge free. In terms of releases for 2023, Grainfather should be with the following statement. Grainfather confirmed that like always they are seeking ways to innovate and improve their range of equipment for the homebrew community with products underway for 2023. Now naturally this does not really give us very much to go on, but at least we know that new projects are planned for release in 2023, which is certainly good news. Brutal certainly had a good release year in 2022 and released a number of key products. The first of these was the F300, which is the latest of the Brutal's fermentation tanks, which I covered with an overview and first impressions video with a smaller size version the year before. This new tank can hold up to 1290 litres in capacity, and like the rest of the range, is fully featured and simply amazing premium quality. In 2022, to further support this range of fermentation products, the Brutal's company also added in an inline filter kit and solenoid valves, as shown on screen, which both add in more flexibility and features. The latest release, however, was a range of circulation manifolds suited to the Brutal's brewing system, which will offer an alternative way to mash and sparge. These products were released due to a number of user requests and certainly are in keeping with the premium quality offered as always by the company. In terms of 2023 releases, I was advised by Brutals that this will include a fermentation control system that not only controls temperature but also pressure. There is also some rumour of some small flexible fermentation tanks. Certainly sounds good to me. Lastly, but by no means least, let's now look at Lullamon Brewing with their range of fermentation products. Lullamon's main release in 2022 was Nova Lager, which is a hybrid lager strain that produces very clean lager beers with good flavour, but with a vastly improved fermentation performance due to its wide range of fermentation temperatures, which are between 10 to 20 Celsius or between 50 to 68 Fahrenheit. This new strain has only been available in brewery packs so far, but the sachet version is also coming in 2023. You can be sure that I'll be reporting on this soon, as testing is already in progress. In addition to this, the potential for next year is an IPA strain, an English style strain and a Quebec strain, but this is not all firmly confirmed just yet and is subject to results found as time progresses. In addition to this, I also heard back from Omega who certainly have some exciting new yeast products planned for 2023, but their lips are sealed further than this, so we will just have to wait and see. I do hope that you have enjoyed this end of year video as well as finding all of the information contained interesting as we move into 2023. Many thanks for watching this video and potentially my other videos throughout this year. As always your support for my channel means a great deal to me and I really enjoy being able to share my content with you all. For those that celebrate Christmas I wish you a very happy one and certainly wish you all a very happy and healthy new year. I will be back on Wednesday the 4th of January 2023 with weekly content and as usual we'll open the year with something very special. I do hope that you found this video useful, informative and interesting. If so, why not consider liking and subscribing? For further support you can join the channel's Facebook group and if you would like to support the channel then check out the channel's merchandise store as all profits go back into the channel. Until next time, happy brewing!